Welcome back to the channel. Today's project is to do maintenance on brakes on this uh, Subaru XV Crosstrek. That's my daughter's car. And uh, she was said uh, the uh, rear brakes are totally done. I mean, the uh, brake disc and the pads need to be replaced. And uh, including the uh, front discs, the job was like a $1,200 job. And I said to my daughter, you know what? I can do it for $150. We'll replace only the pads and we're going to machine the discs. Well, the question is, uh, how disposable are those brake discs? Uh, nowadays, they used to machine them a few times until they were done. You don't see much a garage doing that anymore because they prefer selling parts than the labor. And actually, uh, sometimes the parts are cheaper than the labor. My labor is cheap. Maybe. Anyways. Uh, I had similar issue with the uh, SUV and my car and then at some point I said that's enough I want to machine my own disc myself because nobody is ever proposing that anymore. So I'm going to present you the other machine I bought last summer but I use only, only recently. Now this is the machine made by FMC and by the way FMC used to own Bolens at the same time. I think they no longer uh, own it. FMC is well also well known for the uh, airport equipment like the tugs for the uh, planes. Good equipment, I got it uh, used uh, from a local guy. I think it was like $400. And for lifting the cars, I used to uh, take those jacks. Yes, this is a cheap jack, floor jack have a very short um, that's your reach and then whenever you lift a car it's pulling it towards you or you have to push this to roll under the car honestly I did hate uh, using that jack although it seems to have been uh, used uh, quite a bit after that I converted to that kind of a uh, jack which when it lifts it will lift Vertical. So what is that on the top is just a small contraption for my so that I can lift those Japanese car which have the uh, you know that's uh, that's where you jack you have to have that kind of a slot and you fit that on top but those jack are well known to collapse whenever it happen with the car that uh, pulls it uh, sideways so now what so, so I went on YouTube and see what other guys a woman could be do and I found this airbag jack which lifts straight and doesn't use that kind of a, a thin metal sheet to uh, hold it in place and sorry about the uh, fan noise in the back it's winter outside I need some heat sorry about that so it came from Amazon. Oh, that good smell from China. Okay, the specs are clear, 3 tons, 13.5 centimeters to 40, so you have 13.5 which is uh, 5 and a half until 40, 40 is uh, shy of uh, 16 inches, that should be good. Now remember if that tiny hose fails is going to go down right away. So as any other jack needs to be supported by a jack stand. Make it. Now we're on 
first. So we have here the inlet. Okay, and the outlet. And I'm going to use that uh, shim block because I need a lot of reach. So now I'm going to close the valve this time. Okay, this is what I mean. So you have the disc, and this is kind of a drum where you have the handbrake that will apply brake in the inner part. So I have most likely to manage this inner surface and both surfaces. So as you can clearly see, <laughs> they are um, in good need of a repair. Okay, this is what it looks like. So the inner surface is just perfect. I mean, it was just a uh, surface rust. And this is not for braking. It's actually for parking the car. So I'm, I just remove most of the rust from the outside, especially here, because this is where the tool will contact. And the rust is actually harder than steel. So it's going to put a lot of wear on those uh, small uh, bits. Same on the other side. So I'm going to install this here. I'm going to come along with that sport. Here. And by the way, this is my SUV brakes, <laughs> 14 inches. And the machine is capable of uh, up to 14 inches, no, no, worries, uh, no worries about that. I'm going to adjust this. Okay, so I can move that pretty much like this. But yeah, in the way, the proper distance. Yeah, good. Adjustment on each side. Machine is not fixed on the table. I should do that soon sometime. Okay, you have that wheel, and then I'm going to have them. Now they are well lined. I'm going to just increase. Uh, first, I'm going to remove. I'm going to start a machine.
Okay, you've got the before and after. Did I need to mention that? So I'm going to do this one next. I'm going to clean the inner surface, uh, remove the rust from the outside. And well, this is it for this job. Hope you enjoyed joining me into that uh, small project. Went very good. I think I was able to extend the life of those discs for a year or two until we replace them again. But oh, that's uh, that might be a way of saving the planet at some point. Reusing stuff, repairing stuff. Thanks for joining. See you on the next one.